Hello, my name is Sarah Gay. I'm a family nurse practitioner working in the emergency department setting and a doctor of nursing practice student at Duke University. Today, I'm here to ask for your support in an important piece of legislation that has been introduced to Congress that will establish a public education awareness and access program relating to emergency contraception. The Emergency Contraception Access and Education Act of 2014 will provide the appropriate contraceptive services to those survivors of sexual assault who present to the emergency department. Further, healthcare providers will be available to counsel patients regarding evidence-based standards of care and follow-up services. It is estimated that 3 million pregnancies, or half of all pregnancies annually, are unintended, with 40% of them ending in abortion. The Food and Drug Administration has declared emergency contraception to be safe and effective in preventing unintended pregnancy, and research indicates that it can reduce the risk of pregnancy by up to 95%. The percentage of emergency contraception use among consumers has increased from 4.2% to 11% from 2006 to 2010. However, significant disparities exist among young minority women who lack general knowledge about emergency contraception. One in four adults, or 25%, are unaware of its method and use. Today, one out of every five women is a victim of rape. Research has shown that 25,000 to 32,000 women become pregnant as a result, and if used correctly, emergency contraception could help many of these rape survivors avoid additional trauma brought on by an unintended pregnancy. Currently, only 16 states require hospital emergency rooms to provide emergency contraception related information and dispense emergency contraception. In addition, only four states require that emergency rooms provide any information. That leaves 30 states without current policies in place. In Georgia, there are no policies mandated to allow victims to receive this treatment. In addition, there are six states, including Georgia, where pharmacists can refuse to dispense emergency contraception based on personal moral or ethical beliefs. Isn't this a misfortune that in a nation such as the United States, we are not more proactive in this? With the passage of this legislation, any hospital that receives Medicare or Medicaid funding would be required to provide victims of sexual assault with information about emergency contraception and provide it upon request, regardless of ability to pay. Further, healthcare providers are required to disseminate material regarding proper use, safety, efficacy, counseling, and availability of the emergency contraception. Currently, the American Medical Association, the American Academy of Pediatrics, and the American College of Obstetricians and Gynecologists endorse this legislation and promote widespread availability of emergency contraceptives. Although great strides have been made in the 15 years since the first FDA-approved emergency contraceptive hit the market, public awareness remains low due to lack of public education. Please join me in raising awareness about the importance of this legislation and the great progress and influence it can bring to the state of Georgia. Thank you.